I met people who didn't go to work for more than a week because every day they were down on the beach searching the streets. And one of our friends uh, alerted both the resort um, manager and the police. And, and that was within five minutes or so. Yeah, so it was all done very quickly. And testimony of the Ocean Club's manager, when the Chenyar patrol arrived on location, the child's father threw himself at the officer's feet like a praying Arab, completely out of control over his daughter's disappearance. The same scene was repeated, according to the officers, in the couple's bedroom. It was past midnight when the GNR warned the police of this area. I was immediately informed and took the appropriate measures. Searches were carried out in the region. The Spanish authorities were warned and the borders were controlled. The largest search operation ever to be carried out in Portugal was organized. During several days, hundreds of officers from the GNR, firemen, volunteers, and members of the police of this area thoroughly searched over 200 square kilometers. A gigantic search operation. No search in Portugal had ever included such means and so many people. Everything is checked and checked again. The borders were watched. All sorts of vehicles are searched. The effort does not succeed. The child does not exist. was just exhausted, shattered. He, he was beside himself, giving a few interviews early that morning.
This family friend speaking on GMTV earlier says the family's frantic. They've been looking themselves, they walked along the hedgerows and they've been out shouting but there's nothing else they can do. Did you as a mother, Kate, just sometimes think, I've got to go and be out there with them, I want to go and just physically look as well? I mean, I did. Um, might not be physically searching, but we've been working really hard. And they've been looking themselves. They walked along the hedgerows and they've been out shouting, but there's nothing else they can do unless they get some support from from the police over there or the police here. That's Jill Rennick. We were expecting a metropolitan type response and I remember, I remember saying to the officers, where's the helicopters? I want helicopters with heat seeking equipment. And you know, and the, the officer kind of laughed at us and said, you know, this isn't, we, you know, we don't have a Royal Navy and, and this thing. And, and you, you just want everything done and you want, you want the world to stop and, and scream and, and the response, you know, was slow. Um, and that, that, that's been one of the hardest things for us because, you know, Madeline could have been moved very easily and the Spanish border's only about 90 minutes away and obviously you're on the Mediterranean and one of the aspects of why we are campaigning internationally uh, is because she could have been taken anywhere. Portuguese police, do you think they've worked uh, properly? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, without I a can, doubt? Without a doubt, no doubt whatsoever. I, I know the way they work um, and I have full, full confidence in them and no other police from any other country, however advanced, modern... Neither the British? Nobody, nobody could take it any further. They're, they're among the best in the world, yes. Oh yes, they are.
and no other police from any other country, however advanced, modern. Neither the British. Nobody. Nobody could take it any further. They're, they're among the best in the world. Yes. Oh, yes, they are.